Yo, it is Oko, and man, I don't know if you guys seen what had happened with the young Aiden Ross and Playboy Cardi, bro. He, Aiden Ross got scammed again. It's crazy how frequent uh, this happens to uh, my mans, bro. Two days. In the span of two days, my bro has lost so much money. Recently, he lost two mil to Playboy Cardi. He wanted to get Playboy Cardi on stream for kick, right? Waited five hours for bro to show up. Bro finally shows up. Plays like, I don't know, like a couple songs. Do a little dancey, dancey dance. Say like, <laughs> Cardi, slash, 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 <laughs> Cardi. Or whatever bro does, right? Whispering into the mic like, weirdo. And then, all right, let me, let me, let me not swear, bro. But I'm, I'm low-key tight because I hate scummy fellas like that, bro. So he's there for six minutes. Aiden hasn't like half the money. He hasn't. A hundred, uh, or not a hundred, one million, right? Oh, he just handed him a bag of cash, right? Takes the cash, bro leaves, bro. He dips, does not come back. Bro, Aiden promised this guy two million, a new Ferrari, and a private jet back to his crib, back to his home, bro, after he finished with the Grammys, right? And it's absolutely insane how bro just took advantage of him, grabbed the money, and left, bro. Like, you cannot, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. It's absolutely insane. And, like, the situation with streamers and rappers, bro, something got to change, man. Like, this can, this is probably going to have a negative impact in general how streamers react, work with rappers. First off, I saw a clip um, with 21 Savage saying, getting mad at Aiden. I don't know if he was getting mad, but he was like, yo, you paid him? You didn't pay me. And I feel like rappers now are going to want a bag, bro. Like, it's like a, like, it's like a, like a, a, a gig or like a concert or something. Like, they're going to want to pay you. Or they're gonna want to get paid to come on stream, which is absolutely insane. You should only come on stream if you think it's cool and you vibe with someone, bro. You're getting mad publicity. Aiden, Aiden gets like, he averages like, maybe like 70, maybe like 60 to 100k views, right? A stream, a stream, bro. And it's frequent. It's always like, it's always there. All the dumbers are there. All the people are always there. So that's mad publicity for you. So that should be more than enough for you than to like ask for a bag or something. Anyway, all this drama, all this stuff that's happening made I'm Dante make a video on his main channel, all right? Look, look, look at this. Why the rapper slash streamer meta may change. And I don't know what he could be saying, but like, it's insane to think about, bro. I assume it's gonna be something more like rappers ask for a bag or like, well, hopefully he just talks about the whole Aiden and Cardi shit. Cause that was crazy. That was insane. But, yeah, let's just get into the video, man. Let's just see what he got to say. Guys, why the rapper slash streamer method might change. So as you guys seen, Aiden Ross, Playboy Cardi had a stream. And just like all of you, I was waiting as well. I had a sponsored stream last night surrounded around the Grammys, no flex. And out of nowhere, people- No flex, by the way, bro. Good flex. People started spamming me. Oh, so. Aiden tweet, Aiden tweet, Aiden tweet. Aiden had tweeted he's going to be going live with Playboy Cardi. And just like many others, I doubted it. I said, cap, that's not happening. But as people began to talk and as more things went on and more tweets came out, someone tweeted he paid 50K to have him on stream. And then Aiden replied to the tweet and said, more like two mil, um, a car, a baby, a dog, oh, and all, like, like all types of shit. And that's when everything was circulating that, okay, maybe this might actually be true. Even me in the stream, I thought was like, okay, maybe this is actually happening. But he Bro, when you even think about it, yo, have y'all ever seen Cardi in an interview? And has he ever, like, if he hasn't been in interviews, right? Has he ever contributed, like, anything? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I just think Cardi just might be weird, bro. That nigga just might be weird. He just might be a weirdo. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of artists are, bro. And I'm not just talking about, like, rappers and singers or just, just artists in general, bro. I feel like a lot of them are indeed, like, weirdos. I have a lot of, and it's anecdotal, but I have a lot of art friends, <laughs> artists in my life, and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of them not like, you know, they're not the uh, most tight and bolt, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Even if this is happening, what are we expecting from Cardi? I had a prediction of how I thought the stream was gonna go. And this was no shade, it was just like, when do we see Cardi do anything? Ever. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Is that worth it to get Cardi on your stream? Nah. Just for Cardi to be on your stream and be like, and you know Aiden gonna be like, so like, like how's it feel like to be in your era right now, like in your in your you know in your zone right now, like everybody's going crazy with your with your new songs every 
thing that you drop in, anything that you drop over a mil easily overnight. And he's going to be sitting there like, Titan, like, it's just like, I not don't too much. It's too much. Don't ask on my body. Uh, shot, shot, okay. Shot, shot, uh, so, shot, shot, what is your inspiration for your like how you? Bro, I should got my friend on here, bro. He could do the cardio pressing you over. Dress. I feel like a lot of people, you know, emulate. Like if someone dresses a certain way, they just know it's your style. It's never too much. It's on my body. If it's on my body. I got. I walk in the store. I be like, all black, all black, cut, mix, cut it. Take slight cut. Don't even think about it. Like, I don't even think about it. It's like, God, I don't even think about it. Shit. My account called me, said, you spent too much on clothes, at least change the color. I said, bitch, call my line. I paid $2 million <laughs> cash in a Rory. I paid $2 million cash in a Rory. And we can't even hear you talking to the mic, bro. But oh my God. Oh my God. The stream was worse than that. The, the, the stream was worse than I could have thought and anybody else probably could have thought. in like, a I'm car, a bro. I'm not going to lie. That nigga would have came right back, bro. I would have had security outside the door, bro. Tried to leave. Nah, I'm gonna need at least three hours worth of content from you, buddy. I even hear you talking to the mic. He's bro. Special, bro. But oh my god. Oh my god. The stream was worse than that. The, the, the stream was worse than I could have thought, and anybody else probably could have thought. Now, look, I'm a Cardi fan, but I don't know, like, his whole, like, I don't know every per person on his payroll. So he comes in with a whole group of niggas, and they just dance him. They dance for, like, three songs. Some white girl was in the camera like this. I forgot that happened, bro. Yo, I forgot my camera was even on. This is bro, like it's so cringe. Even watching this back is hard, bro. At this point, they were just there's literally just bro. music playing, bro. Aiden, there's nothing in that cup, man. That that shit's empty, dog. <laughs> that shit's empty, dog, bro. He's, so, been he drinking at, he's been drinking at that cup for the last five minutes. Oh, bro, we're drinking out this cup for like the past hour, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. What the fuck is going on? I feel for him though. I feel for him now. You can't even see shit. Cardi's request, by the way. I said on Twitter, if I was Aiden for two mil, I would lock that nigga in the cage. You're not going anywhere, buddy. You're staying right here with me. Bro, Aiden seems like such a nice person. Like, this is, this is a, like, is this my phone? Y'all want to react to some shit? <laughs> <laughs> um, so how was the Grammys? <laughs> uh, it's so bad, bro. It's should like, it's like, you got to know, like, I know you you want to be mysterious and stuff like that, but it's like you gotta know. Like I don't know how I forgot how old Cardi is, but I'm pretty sure he's still young. It's not like he's 47. Okay, okay, how young are we talking though, bro? Because it's like, bro, niggas be giving people passes just because they're like they're they're young per se, but bro could be like 23, bro. I'm not letting that shit slide if he's 23. Let's see, how old is Cardi? Bro, you tell nigga play that nigga twenty eight Dante. That nigga is twenty eight, bro. This is a grown man, dog. He is not even in his early twenties. He's in his late twenties, and you telling me this grown ass twenty eight year old fella is acting like this? You to the bro, this yo, yo, bro. Who raised you fellas, bro? I'm not gonna lie, I don't. This is absolutely insane, bro. Bro, he knows how this stuff works, bro. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. Back to the studio, by the way. You know you're not dropping shit, music. buddy. You leave right now? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me real quick. Yo, bro, you, you, know this, you know the old saying when people, are, like, when people are trying to leave? Like, stay, bro. Time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> like, they're trying to announce their exit. I think this is the new one, bro. Well, okay, well, time to hit the studio. Like I'm glad he studio. stood his ground, though, <laughs> and didn't let him day. get all the money. But to pay him anything for that, to pay him anything, period, is insane. But yeah. I just feel for him. This is, like, the worst thing ever. And it's not even on Aiden's part, bro. It's all on Cardi. Like, dude, all you had to do was, like, just be a human. Take the goddamn mask off, dude. Mind you, Aiden has already been waiting for, like, it, it's, it was, like, two and a half hours, three hours of waiting. He was there and then left and then came back. Y'all yeah, be honest, this whole like mystique thing that a lot of these rappers and artists are doing is corny. I, I've been thought it was corny, but I hope this shows other artists that like this shit is not cool. Like it, maybe there's a reason why these niggas don't post anything. Don't like doing interviews. Maybe they're actually weird. They're either actually weird or they this are, is the bro. persona that they want to give off. I, I think they're either actually weird or the persona. But it's like, what's even the point of having that mysterious, like, persona still? That shit is played out, bro. 20 billion other fellows did that shit way before you did, bro. Before you were even probably born, bro. Like, this is not a new thing. You're not, like, are people, 
like, are niggas getting brownie points for faking to be mysterious, bro? Because <laughs> I can I can do that too, bro. I can fake to be mysterious. Like, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> can't see my face slash slapping in the studio chat. Get on, get on video chat. Caught it. Talk about that bitch about that. Caught it. But, like, bro, was, he, he said, like, two words or you just didn't hear him. You just did not hear him. I'm telling you, bro. Again, if he's in any interviews or anything and he talked in those interviews, good on him. He did it eight and dirty. If he was weird in those interviews that he did, like past interviews, then I, I just gonna assume if he's still doing this whole mysterious vibe for like fucking four or five years, bro, he's just weird at this point. I'm not gonna hold you. This is the persona that Cardi wants to give off. I mean, he was texting Aiden like, yo, I, I want an entrance song. He wanted an entrance song and then he was gonna do a Corny lap around ass, the ring or bro. something, bro. Like. I feel like a lot he of these a artists human. think they are above just being a regular human being. So much so that they can't even have a conversation with regular human beings. The way he did Aiden was mad disrespectful. Instead of taking this opportunity to show his fan base how down to earth he is, relatable he is, how cool he is, talk about his music coming up, he wore a mask and clapped his hands. You know what I am happy about though? I do like the fact that his fans, even his fans, are looking at Cardi like, yo, bro, what? Like, what the hell was yeah, that? Like, Instagram that was cringe. Was it was awkward right to watch. It made me uncomfortable. If you check his Instagram account, his messages are now getting flooded with <laughs> L, you're weird, you scammed Aiden. And I'm glad that more people are seeing, like, just how corny this is. So hopefully we get less of this. Maybe we, like, maybe we start to get more artists that are actually just act like regular people. Maybe they see, okay, maybe this Mystique thing is kind of cringe. Maybe it's kind of corny. Maybe it's run its course, bro. I mean, I get it. Some people are, like, genuinely off the radar. Genuinely just don't use social media. And it's not for an image or publicity stunt. Like, they just really just don't be on that stuff. But I feel like some people do that for the image. To enhance mystery mystique meanwhile you got people like tizo touchdown who's on a facetime call with his fans on like the eighth day straight you just said that you've been speaking to your fans yeah. for eight days straight that's yeah. a beautiful thing you, they're probably on the phone right now matter of fact it's probably with some shorties i'm not gonna lie but regardless that's besides the point tizo is is a, is a dope artist amazing artist y'all should listen to his, his music tizo touchdown this guy his come up was even like it's like wholesome bro men's been working on this music stuff for a while bro for a while until it finally just blew up for him bro so i mean if anything i should let y'all know keep following y'all dreams eventually you'll get there you know sometimes you takes a little bit longer than others but it is what it is you know as long as you get to the goal that you set for yourself there's no real race but you know tizo is a w man's bro eight I'm days is insane hey, eight man. days is insane eight days straight y'all little, little bonnet on <laughs> I mean, I can't tell, but I don't see no dudes in there. Yeah, yeah, eight days straight. Now, I'm not saying you got to go that far, but I I'm just saying, bro, like, bro, just talk. It's that easy. And what really worries me, <laughs> what really worries me is that I'm wondering if more artists are now going to be thinking like, wait, hold on. He was there for like 10 minutes and got like two mil. But to be fair, Aiden did say that he didn't get all the money, but t a, a little bit out of two mil is still a lot, bro. And I'm. Facts, bro, but like that's not even the bad part. Like I, I said earlier, bro, this nigga, this nigga, twenty one called him like, bro, you really paid that fella two mil? Really paid that fella two mil while he was there for six minutes, bro? And you didn't pay me? Like, bro, like why are you on the stream for if you just wanted money, bro? Go like do a show or something. Damn. I'm wondering if these other artists are gonna watch this and be like, bro, hold on, hold on. These people have been going on these streams for free? Wait, you mean to tell me I can get paid for this? I feel like people are no longer going to see it as like a, just something cool to do. They're going to see it as like a gig. Because that's basically how Cardi was treating it. Like it was a side gig, bro. Dude came, performed like three songs. Yeah, it was Shook cringe. Aiden's hand, hugged him, whispered into the mic. Got his money and left. And now I'm wondering if there's about to be a shift. Cut, if cut. more artists are going to start demanding that they get paid something. I mean, as if being on a streamer's stream that gets hundreds of thousands of viewers in there live concurrently. It's concurrently. Not I, feel like, I, I feel like that's a fair trade, but I feel like bro. now like, they're gonna be feeling like they're the table. What is the streamer doing for me? Oh, Savage called me. Yo. Bro, two million dollars, bro? What? He didn't get the full two million. What's with this filter? He, stop it, bro, no. Bro, why the fuck you ain't pay me, bro? You see the clip I'm talking about? This is insane, bro. You're fucking- I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's fucked up, bro. Brother, I was gonna buy you cars and shit. What the fuck do you mean? Bro, two million 
dollars for six minutes, bro. He didn't get paid that. Bro, you pay for And now Aiden minutes. is promised no, to sell like well, money too. I, it, oh, it's, kinda. It's bro, sad, bro. You him a bag of cash. Okay, but bro, guess what? He's not, he, bro. Uh, trust me, you and I are gonna make more money together like this. Okay, you're gonna make you and me are gonna make more money like this. Bro, we gotta have a talk when I see you, bro. Have a talk, bro. <laughs> bro. You and I will make more money together than him and he just made in six minutes. I promise. I don't care what no one says, bro. Twenty one is not is not Aiden's friend. People say all oh, they made up and blah blah blah. He didn't really mean to scam him. It was his homie. Yeah, I buddy. Like I seen the clip, bro. Bro was definitely trying to scam, bro. He is not Aiden's friend, and now he's calling him about money that he gave some other rapper. Like, bro. First off, yo, you watching another man's bag, bro? Mind yours, bro. Mind your business. Golly, right. Second off, it's like. Why'd you, like, again, why'd you come to the stream? Why'd you even come to the stream? Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't know. That 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 does not, bro. He does not come across, in my opinion, genuine, bro. Genuine. He does not sound genuine at all to me. He sounds like a fuck nigga who's trying to scam another person or trying to get more money out of a situation. Like, bro. Like, you, you promoted your cards. You tried to scam me. Like, bro, what are you asking for, bro? You got you got to promote yourself in front of a hundred K viewers. That should be good enough, bro. I'm he's one of the biggest streamers in the game. That should be good enough, bro. Why, I, I, bro, I hate scummy ass niggas, bro. All right, call me when you done streaming, bro. Okay, I got you. Done, by the That's way. why I always think it's like, better to just get, get people phone, you actually dog. vibe with more than trying to get people that are just popular, and that would bring a lot of viewers. Yeah, yeah exactly. a lot of viewers is cool. Yeah, for that moment, for the artists that they're coming for. But in reality, people just want to see a good stream if they really like you as a streamer. So that's why it's like, I think it's better if you go in with a person you already vibe with. Like he, he had a stream with Chris Brown. They were vibing. That's fine. Chris Brown's just acting like that's a regular a person. A normal dude. He had a stream with Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. It was just natural. Everything was natural. Nothing seemed forced. It wasn't awkward. And I feel like when you get more streams like that, it makes it more genuine. It makes the experience more fun for both people, the streamer and the audience watching. Also, it's just a good look for the artist. If you're just a genuine person, having a casual conversation, showing that you actually have a sense of humor. 21 Savage, for example. I mean, aside from the, the scamming part, but I feel like him on stream with Aiden and, and Kai and stuff like that has showed that wait, nah. okay, he's actually like a funny person. Like. He seemed like he would be cool to be around. Minus and the like gambling, until we start gambling or something like that. I think that made yeah, people mess with him more. I mean, until he did the weird... I know, until he did the weird... <laughs> it's just the most recent example. But I'm glad to see that there's an opposite effect. That if you go on stream with your mystique shit that you do online, people are going to find you corny. And they're going to call you out for it. <laughs> Cardi was just doing so right well. Now. Everybody, like... Was on him. He's dropping single after single after single. Everybody on it. We don't know nothing. Like what's going on behind the scenes. He does this stream. Immediate flip. Why? This this portrayal, bro. Whatever this portrayal yeah, is, bad, man. Bro. And for two mil, bro, I would have dragged his ass right back. Yo, my nigga, is you defective? Like, talk to me. Talk to me. Hello? <laughs> two mil down a goddamn drain. Exactly, I genuinely feel bad, bro. It's like, you can see Aiden was really, really trying to make this work, trying to have a conversation with him. He would say things Cardi wouldn't acknowledge, or he'd say something, try to start a conversation. Cardi just whisper one, two words back. But yeah, I'm really curious to how, like, moving forward, rappers are going to react to coming on streams. Because, I mean, even, even 21 Savage called him. To be fair, you paid yourself, 21. But yeah, I don't know how cardi is going to recover from this one i'm pretty sure some people are probably not going to care once he drops his next single but now it's just like now it's just like a side eye looking at him it's like yeah his music is still good and we like i feel like people already already knew he was weird but that still doesn't excuse the behavior bro the real part is rappers getting on streamers streams now will they be demanding a paycheck a paycheck per hour or something like that man i would hope not maybe just only have people that you you know you build a connection with who you would consider like you're cool with rather than trying to get the biggest names the the most mysterious people who don't do no interviews maybe there's a reason why they don't bro maybe they're yeah, just bro. boring as hell boring and weird as hell and that's just it i mean he's just boring that or weird or both bro he could be both all i'm saying is like at the end of the day man whatever whatever the case may be right with these youtubers and these switch streamers or these, these just streamers in general. Be just look out for yourself. Don't only invite people who you know rock with you, who are genuine people, because this is a bad situation to be in. And I just really hope like if the streamer rapper thing continues where streamers bring rappers onto streams, 
it doesn't go into anything extremely crazy. Robbing someone other or scamming someone other two mils are already insane. But, you know, no one was hurt. And hopefully it continues to stay that way. Anyway, uh, original video down in the description below. If y'all liked the video, hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing. All that good stuff, man. I hope y'all like the new setup and everything. You know, don't mind my messy ass desk. But yeah, y'all be safe. Be easy. See y'all next time. Peace.